Mike Tyson believes Dana White has the potential to revolutionize boxing if he fully commits to investing in the sport. White recently made headlines when he confirmed that big announcements are on the horizon and it appears that he's finally getting serious about promoting boxing. With his successful track record at the helm of the UFC, many are wondering what kind of impact White could have on boxing. Tyson, who has a long-standing friendship with White, is convinced that White's business acumen will be a game-changer for the sport. In a recent interview on the It Is What It Is podcast, Tyson praised White's ability to promote quality fights and attract top talent. That's going to be the best thing to happen to boxing, Tyson said, predicting massive success if White follows through on his plans. Just like UFC, where if you're not bringing the heat, you're not getting another fight. Tyson noted that in the UFC, fighters who consistently bring underwhelming performances are quickly shown the door, and it's unlikely they'll be given another chance to compete. He believes this kind of discipline is exactly what boxing needs. Not like boxing, Tyson said, where guys can just keep fighting even if their fights aren't good. If any fights stink, you're not back in the UFC no more. You're never going to see those guys again. White has already shown signs of his commitment to boxing by promoting up-and-coming star Callum Walsh and helping to organize crossover fight between Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather back in 2017. With White's track record and Tyson's endorsement, it's clear that many are excited about the potential for White to shake things up in boxing. Only time will tell what kind of impact he'll have on the sport, but one thing is certain, Fans are eagerly awaiting his next move. I think Dana's gonna help save boxing. Boxing needs Dana to get in there, as well as Turkey. Uh, Turkey Alashik, him and Dana coming into boxing is about to change boxing. We're about to get the fights we wanna see. And then imagine the buildup Dana's gonna have for the guys. There's probably boxers out there that Bob Arum, all these other fucking dinosaurs aren't even looking at and can't even notice that Dana has so many connections to. And he has Hunter Campbell, Mick Maynard, Sean Shelby, Imagine if they help him with it too, dude. They're one of the best matchmakers in the game. So boxing fucking needs Dana. Again, sorry for the F word there, Leroy. Boxing needs Dana. And uh, I'm telling y'all, it's going to change the game. Y'all saw, I don't know, if, did y'all watch the Callum Wash card? I mean, one of the best events I've ever seen. And that's yeah, man. Callum Wash. Like, no, not a lot of people even really know. It's Ka- Cal- Callum Walsh is Dana White's boxing John Jones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, or Dane, or I mean, boxing McGregor. I mean, let's let's segue to you, McDean. The thing for me that's always been the problem with boxing, and I think I, I mentioned this on on the show with with Yao the other day. For me, it's how infrequent the fights have been, but now with oh uh, with the crossover fight and probably boxing seeing what. MMA is doing it, especially UFC, and how uh, um, how quick turnaround that you know we get fights. We get fights near enough every other week. Every other week we get fights, right? So it's making boxing think about the frequency that they 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 now put in fights. And I've seen more fights, more boxing fight this year and last year than I've seen in the last ten years. You know, so uh, how how do you think he's even had that? that impact and is going to continue in boxing. Is this something that we're going to see regularly in boxing where we're going to see more frequent fights, more better fights? <clears throat> because for me, Crawford and Errol Spence should have happened three times over before we even got to see it, right? So how early should they be churning out this sort of fight for us? I think there's a, multi, a multitude of factors leading into this one. Like Obviously, you've got all these infos coming into it too. I think Dana White's seeing... It's like a resurgence for boxing at the moment. Like Between the crossovers of MMA, the influence, influence of fights, and all the social media like hype that's been around it in the last year or so, he's now looking at it going, yeah, it's time for me to jump on in. And like, as as was said in that clip there as well, like... He doesn't mess around. Like There's boxers out there that are just fighting journeymen to pad the record so they can try and look good so they can get to a certain point. And whatever he goes, whatever Dana White goes to do with this, whether he's going to try and set up a new promotion or if he's going to collaborate with one and like, jump on into the ship and start staring it in a different direction, he's going to change the scene in the way that it walks and the way that it works. He isn't going to be wanting people to just go in there and just cruise through some easy fights because that's not who he is and we can see that from how he's ran the ufc you know i mean so i think uh i think now is the time for them to be jumping in and changing this and it will lead to the fights that we want to see sooner rather than later it's like but like you said a minute ago boxing is that old 
that you've got all of these old, probably corrupt ass dudes running it that are just doing what they want to do. You know what I mean? And we're now getting to a point where the tides are going to turn. Yeah, man. Jax. You know Could, what? Um, so, sorry, I, I just wanted to ask ahead. you this. Do, do you think Dana could use Zufa Boxing? That's been dormant for so long. Whether Zufa Boxing is actually going to end up waking up through this. Do you think he could use this as a conduit to, to try and, uh, you know, revolutionize boxing or improve boxing, as you say? Um, I think to a certain extent, yeah. Um, it'll revol revolutionize boxing from a consumer standpoint, as far as, like, the way that we see it. Um, to y'all's point, as far as, like, the frequency, um, the relevance of fighters who don't have belts, you know, just the way it is in the UFC, like, you know, there's... If, if Patty Pimblett was a boxer, we wouldn't be as hype, you know what I'm saying? Because we wouldn't even know how good this dude is. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if they're able to bring that over to boxing, that'll be great. But on the side of the boxers, it might not be that great. Because if you're thinking about how they get paid, how boxers get paid, I don't know how happy they're going to be about that. Because that's a major point of contention when it comes to UFC fighters and boxers. Devin Haney has a lot of money. And if he was, uh, you know, the equivalent in the UFC, he wouldn't have nearly as much money as he has. So I don't know how happy they, they would be with this whole setup. So that part fascinates me. And I'm, I'm curious how that's going to shake down. But Devin that's Haney wouldn't be point. a champion in the UFC, though, either. He wouldn't even be top 15 in MMA. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. So I how mean, I it, go on. I was just gonna say it's interesting. Like, how how happy would they be um, in that type of setup? Mm -hmm. Like that that's something that I thought of earlier, and I did think if they're gonna be setting up a new promotion, then how many people, or how many fighters are they actually gonna to get to join if they're basing it on contracts that they're looking at from the UFC? Like, bo boxers ain't gonna want that because of the money that they go out there and make. Hundred mm -hmm. percent. Yeah, you got something on this topic? <clears throat> Yeah, I think, like I said in the chat, um, it just means more money for Dana. Joshua Dubois filled 96,000 people in Wembley. We don't have the UFC filling seats like that. So it just means more money for Dana, whichever way he gets involved. Boxing isn't, isn't suffering. We're just not getting the fights we want. That's what's wrong with boxing. So the only thing he might be able to come in and do is give us the fights we want. But there's nothing really to technically fix with boxing. He wants boxing's money. I mean, if you look at the money that Dubois and AJ made versus the money that O'Malley made, which were all like, oh, wow, he made $3.2 million. He basically made nothing. And that's why Haney even said to him, listen, I won't fight for a million. Come over and let's fight for some real money because boxing has the money. So the only thing it would do is line in the white's pockets. He's not going to come in and change anything. Unfortunately, I don't think so. It would be interesting to see him getting us the fights we want, but I don't see him changing boxing at all. All right, can I ask you? Can I ask you guys this? And anyone can jump in on this one here. Boxing, as we know, has so many stables, right? Which is one of the hindrances in putting all these top big, big fights together because that guy is in this table, that guy is under that, that banner, is on that stable. And these guys don't like bringing, especially when they got a champion, they don't really want anybody else outside of the stable to compete for that belt rather than, you know getting another fighter but like like what they do in mma or in 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 in, in ufc for example everybody is under that one promotion that one banner that one stable everybody competes for that one belt for that one division you said there's nothing in boxing to change but do you think that's something that could maybe they could change in boxing to just give that frequency a little bit more because i don't think there'll be that much politics in terms of putting the fights together as it is right now where they're on that different kind of stables anyone or you can, can can jump in yeah no i mean that would change but I, I feel like it would start with you know some of the younger folks like the people who are established now like errol spence is not gonna be like okay well let me go and fight in the zoo for boxing like mm -hmm. for what like why does he have to do that he can promote fights and have his his promotion company on the canvas on the ring on his shorts whatever he wants to do why would he go to zufa boxing and do that same thing with bud same thing with tank you know on and on um like why would they do that so it would have to be a 
a slow roll where they're pulling in the Callum Walsh's, the people who are not as globally known to uh, go under Zufa Boxing and brainwash them in a sense to think that this is the way to go. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget, we do our dust up shakedown every Wednesday, 9 p.m. UK time. Don't miss it.